February 26th, 2024. It's my father's 92nd birthday. Yes, I have a 92 year old dad. <clears throat> but I have some siblings in their 60s, it's crazy. And 50s. Anyway, what's up everybody? So, since we just started the car, it says 44, even though it's probably in the upper 30s. So in about five, six minutes, we'll see where that ends up. We did get some snow earlier today, as you guys saw in the skiing video. I have to be honest, that was completely unexpected. Any precipitation earlier was unexpected. Even right now, none of this was supposed to start happening until about 1 a.m. So it's pretty cool. I'll probably be able to get a normal night's sleep tonight for the first time in gosh knows how long. But right now we're on Brownie Lane. We're taking the back streets all the way to the village. And then we're gonna come back around and see if we can find some snow in Upper Moon Ridge. Because we're not gonna get many more opportunities. And as a matter of fact, I'm not kidding. I swear I just saw a snowflake. I swear. I swear. Yeah, we're gonna take the back roads to get to the village, and then we're gonna take Big Red Boulevard back to Moon Ridge, and take Moon Ridge into Upper Moon Ridge. Stops around 37, 38 degrees. Alright, so now we're turning left on Wren, W R E N. From Brownie Lane, turning left on Wren. changes street names because the road turns to the left up here and uh, changes to Eureka but just stay on McWinnie follow it around it's 39 degrees now and we're going to be coming up to I believe Oak we'll make a right on Oak I'm telling you guys, I'm seeing some snowflakes with this rain. So I'm, I'm thinking it, it may change to all snow here very soon. It's pretty remarkable, right? It can be so warm. It was in the almost mid 40s when it was snowing on the mountain today. I think right up right above the surface at the mountain there was like a really cold cold layer of air thirty eight degrees now we're turning left on Jeffries and then there will only be one more turn and then we'll be in the village, so we turn right here on Pennsylvania. like I'm going so fast you guys I promise you I, I am I am not so look looks like we're flying we're going 20 21 miles an hour it's crazy 
but it really does look like I'm going a lot faster. I don't want you guys to think I'm speeding through these neighborhoods because I absolutely will not speed through these neighborhoods. Under no circumstance, but especially when we have snow falling because there's a lot of kids and families or kids that come up with their families and rent Airbnbs up here and they like to sled off the side of their yards and stuff like that. So you just got to be extra cautious, but I show you guys these side routes knowing that you're respectful. I want you to save time and have the best time up here. And a big way to have a good time up here is to save time. out here. I wish it was a consistent snow though. But we'll see. As I said, we're going to go up into Upper Moon Ridge. I'm hoping it'll be close to 35, 36 degrees up there. And uh, I'm also hoping that it's snowing. guys it looks pretty pretty darn dead we're gonna turn on pine knot which is this part of the village
and it looks like I'm totally hauling butt, but we're going 35 miles an hour, the speed limit's 40. some of our merchandise we have some really great high quality stuff there for you guys um, we wanted to make sure that we had really quality products for you guys because I care about this channel a lot and uh, I, I didn't want to have any any bogus merchandise I want to have super high quality stuff and also for you guys renting skis and snowboards go to get boards on Big Bear Boulevard they have two shops the ride shop which is a snowboard shop and the ski shop. They are both one block and two blocks away from the village on Big Bear Boulevard on the same side of the street. I mean guys, amazing shop. They have some amazing safety stuff. For instance, if you buy your own skis, let's say at a yard sale and you bring them in, they have one of the, the, the only machine up here that does like the most in-depth testing on, on these things so they know that it's safe for you to ride with. The only other one is up in Mammoth, I believe. It's like a $20,000 machine. But uh, they, they really care about your safety, you guys. They're, they're amazing people over there. Tony, the owner, one of the greatest guys ever. And I'm telling you, he deserves all your business. He cares about you guys more than you'll ever know. I mean, he explains everything thoroughly, like everything. I learned so much when I rented my skis there for the second time uh, yesterday. The guy is just amazing. And if you bring your own skis and snowboards and tell them you're a friend of the channel, they'll wax it. They'll wax it for free, you guys. Usually, that's between twenty-five and forty dollar value right there. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of the great customer service and. <clears throat> Anything you need to buy from clothing to snowboard skis, anything that has to do with skiing or snowboarding, they've got killer, killer equipment, you guys. I'm telling you, I've, I've had nothing but the most amazing reviews from you guys about that place. I told you guys. I told you guys I'm not going to refer you to, uh, to a bunch of scrubs. All right, we're coming up to Bear Mountain. Temperature dropped down to 37 degrees, which is BEA beautiful. So we may get lucky and see 35 or 36 up top. And maybe a couple snowflakes. We're on the snowflake hunt right now. something pretty good coming in a few days you guys we could get between 6 and 12 inches of snow at the beginning of March 
it was supposed to be a lot more than that, but you know what? I'm still super excited, grateful for anything. It is getting to March is usually the, the last month of our of our snow our ski season up here. We get snow th through mid May. I've recorded snow on this channel May 31st, you guys. One time, three inches of snow on May 31st. I was praying it would last a few more hours just so I could say I was here when it snowed in June. But no. All right, we're on Moon Ridge Road. Now we're turning right on Sheephorn. We're going to drive by our Airbnb on the channel. Again, you guys, if you guys want to stay at a beautiful Airbnb, it's right here next to, to Bear Mountain. Hit us up. Let us know. This is a close friend of the channel. He loves the channel. He helps out with all the merchandise and photo shoots and promos and website stuff. Like, the guy is just amazing. And he's got a great little Airbnb. And uh, if you mention again that you are a friend of ours, he'll give you a discount. And we're coming up to it right now. We are also entering the snowiest part of the whole entire town of Big Bear. And that's where his Airbnb is. Here it is. It's that tall place right there. On the left hand side, up upstairs there, there is a jacuzzi sitting right outside the master bedroom. I'm telling you guys, it's a, it's a sick little place. Really comfortable. He let my wife and I stay there for free. I think we stayed for one night. Maybe it was two nights. I'm pretty sure it was it was one night. Because I didn't want to refer anything to you guys without staying there personally. And I didn't pull some sort of a manipulative scheme saying, hey, well, you know what, I, I, I don't know if I want to refer your, your Airbnb unless I stay there. <laughs> you know, it was nothing like that. He was like, dude, there's there's no one renting it right now. Um, he has it rented all, all the time, guys. So this was in the summertime, and he's still busy during the um, summertime. That's how great of a spot his spot is. But he, he let us use it. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I felt so comfortable there. He's done a few giveaways. He's given that place away to you guys two different times. Um, Jay's a wonderful man. And we're going to keep on doing stuff like that for you guys. But don't forget, in the description of the video, you'll have information on Jay's Airbnb. And you can click on that and contact him or contact me and I'll contact him for you. Whatever we have to do to make sure that we give you the best experience possible. Wow, that made my stomach sink. All right, returning right on Luna from Sheephorn. Temperature's still 37. It has not dropped down to 36 like I thought it would. We are now entering the snowiest part. Well, we've entered the snowiest part of town, but we are now in the most snowy area of Big Bear, Upper Moon Ridge. And there are even parts of Upper Moon Ridge that get more snow than, than other parts of, of Upper Moon Ridge. The first half is gonna be the snowiest because we're gonna be going the back route. You'll see, you'll see on the sides people's lawns and stuff like that. You'll see how much snow is still up here. It's going to get more and more and more. So right now we're on Wolf Street, W-O-L-F, and we're going to turn left on La Crescenta, which is this next street here. And La Crescenta takes you all the way around Upper Moon Ridge and it eventually turns back into Villa Grove, which is what we were just driving on for a moment before we were on Wolf Street. Before we were wolves of Wolf Street. Alright. So look at all this snow, you guys. There's still an awful lot of snow up here. If you go to my live feed right now, you guys, there's, there's no snow in my yard. I mean, literally nothing. 
town for nine years oh speaking of driving around this town so I've had this car since December 2018 it's a 2019 cross track most of the driving has been done up here right I just crossed the hundred thousand mile mark a hundred thousand one hundred and ninety three miles you guys just in Big Bear I mean yeah I've driven down the mountain maybe I don't know 20 times maybe even 30 times but still round round trip we'll just say that's 150 miles so 150 times 20 I don't know maybe that's like 3600 miles something like that so minus the hundred thousand or 3600 by a hundred thousand I've driven a lot up here guys I don't think any vehicles have driven that much in this town other than the police cars I love what I do for you guys. It gets me out of my head. It takes away my depression. I get to interact with you guys when these drives are done because I get to read all the comments and respond to you guys. It's really neat. So now we're on Villa Grove again. We took La Crescenta and just follow it, followed it around and around and around. And yeah, now we are on, on Villa Grove. untouched snow on the side there. Beautiful. As much as I love the snow, I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to summertime coming. I'm tired of, of having to put on and take off my snow boots. I'm already at the point where I don't put on all my cold weather gear. I just, I'm in my shorts and a t-shirt right now. And I just throw on my snow boots, run out to the car, get in the car before I get soaked, and I'm good to go. But I'm looking forward to uh, not having to worry about that stuff. It's a pain in the butt, guys. As much as I go in and out to have to put on and take off all your clothes, put them on, take them off, because it's layer after layer after layer. It's a pain in the butt. definitely destroying the snow again guys we are in the snowiest area the snowiest part of Big Bear which is called as I said Upper Moon Ridge the snowiest neighborhood because technically the snowiest area would be like mid mountain and the top of summit and bear that would be the snowiest part of this valley but this is the snowiest neighborhood
place that we started in Upper Mooners. We, we turned left there, that's Wolf Street. So we just made the big loop around. And we're gonna go down into Lower Moon Ridge a different direction. We're gonna take Villa Grove until we get to um, Butte. Actually, there's a little street about 20 feet long, literally, it's called Mira, M-I-R-A. Not Mira, Mira on the wall. You dig? It's Mira Lane, M-I-R-A. Here's Luna, we're passing Luna. We're gonna turn left on Mira for 20 to 30 feet and then a right on Butte. Butte can be pretty scary when we have ice and snow, you guys. I can't tell you how many vehicles I've seen three quarters of the way up start sliding down backwards. That feeling has to be absolutely horrifying, especially because there's a cliff. And then at the bottom of the cliff are houses. Okay, here's Mira. Watch how short Mira is. saw a couple snowflakes. I would not lie about these things, but I think I did. Maybe I'm having a flashback or something. I have no idea, but I swear I just saw a couple snowflakes mixing in again. Oh, it's so nice how quiet it is up here. Some of the driving up here when we're crowded, guys, is rough. <laughs> some, some of the people bring the worst driving skills to this town where this town is already dangerous enough driving in. Never forget, driving up here is not like it is driving down the mountain. You gotta be a, a little more cautious up here. But, despite those few really horrible drivers. Most of you guys actually hold your own up here, which kind of surprises me because uh, it's not easy. And I see so many vehicles that don't look like they should be able to do well up here and they kick some serious butt. Like, I, it's, it's really, really, really impressive to me. I guarantee you that's you guys on this channel though. You guys are the impressive ones for sure. Returning from Silver Tip onto, I always forget the name of this dumb street. What is this street's name? Um, this, it'll be right here. Sunset, yes. Sunset. And now we're on Moon Ridge Road once we go straight through here. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. shortcut I should have taken it from back there a little bit but so we're at the Moon Ridge roundabouts right if there's a bunch of traffic on Moon Ridge right here just and you want to get to, to Big Bird Boulevard just go right here and I'm going to show you guys what's up I haven't been back here in a while so I don't know what the pothole situation's like I got to be extra cautious and I'm telling you guys most of the time it'll be dead like this when there's bumper to bumper traffic running parallel on the left over here. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Elm 
street. You're gonna to wanna to make a right and then you're gonna to wanna to make a left. If you make a left, you're gonna be stuck in that hypothetical traffic over there on Moon Ridge Road, and we don't want that. We wanna enjoy our two days off up here without being stuck in traffic all the time. I'm telling you guys, if if you guys struggle following along with me on these on these on these shortcuts, hit me up. I, I will like send you an email detailed with every street approximately how far to go. I don't mind doing that for you guys. I don't mind taking the time. You guys have done so much for me. You guys make me feel so good inside. You make me feel, once again, that I have a purpose. And most of my life, I never thought I was gonna have much, much of a purpose. Once my sports careers ended, even being a little guy, you guys, I was super athletically gifted. Super gifted. But I decided to party instead of, uh, well, party and get caught, you should say. And that ruined all my aspirations, everything I worked for, for many, many, many years. We're on a street called Catalina, and Catalina's gonna take us to Big Bear Boulevard. All right. Again, these are some some more side streets. One of these one of these days, guys, I'll do a side street video, and I'll put it in the playlist. I guarantee you. Sadly, there will be a few comments on that video from a, a couple locals. Look, guys, most of the locals up here appreciate what you guys bring to this community of course we don't like all the trash that gets left and stuff like that and the place being completely trashed but you guys bring a semblance of a town up here and it it feels good up here because there's a bunch of people smiling and a bunch of people happy to play in the snow so remember most most of the most of the locals love you guys and most of them are are extra patient but there are those few who will leave me comments when I show you guys shortcuts. Essentially hating on me big time for trying to take care of you guys and save you guys time and give you guys the best experience possible. They'll, they'll leave comments saying, there's no snow, don't come up here, or don't go down this road because it's, it's blocked off when it's just all lies. And they'll say even more mean things than that. But again, it's just a very few handful of, not even a handful, just a couple people who are super bitter and are completely clueless as to what makes this town function. You guys make, you guys make this town function. Bottom line, it's you guys. And never forget it. That's why I will go out of my way for you guys. But as I was saying, I was, considering doing a video um, or maybe quite a few videos of individual shortcuts from here to there there to here um, and creating a playlist I think that would be a, a really nice idea I don't know how you guys feel about it but for the one person still watching this late into the video who can put up with me never shutting up let me know how you feel about that and then this summer I can put some of those videos together for you. Turn on Fox Farm Road here eventually when the light turns green. And we're going to take, I'm going to show you guys one more shortcut how to get as far down Big Bear Boulevard towards the village as possible without having to take Big Bear Boulevard this other direction. Imagine once again it's bumper to bumper traffic like it is often when we get snow and weekends and an overflow of tourism you're gonna to wanna to take Fox Farm. So you're leaving the grocery stores, right? You go down Big Bear Boulevard, your first stoplight's gonna be Fox Farm Road. 
you're going to want to turn right on Fox Farm Road, which is what we are on right now. I got to watch out for, for, for pot stickers on this road. Here's a major satellite parking lot for the ski resorts. We have so many of these big, huge parking lots, guys. Okay, so now Fox Farm Road turns into Swan. S-W-A-N Drive, or Swan Road. Swan Drive. So you're gonna just stay straight on Fox Farm Road. Turns into Swan. Again, you're driving through neighborhoods, so you don't wanna go fast at all. Again, through, through the camera, it, it looks like I'm absolutely flying, but when you look at the speedometer, it's 21 miles an hour, 22 miles an hour. It's not slippery, it's not icy. Sometimes I get comments of, the, of people being constructive with me, not not being jerks about it, just being constructive. And that's when I'm that's that's when I have no problem listening to the feedback. But if you're just attacking me, not knowing the full details, then it goes in one ear out out the other. But if if, if you're going to be constructively criticism, or <laughs> if you're going to constructively criticize me. I am absolutely down for that because how can you improve anywhere in life without constructive criticism? You need to learn. I need to learn. So now we're coming up to a stop sign. You're going to want to, oops, look at that huge rat. Oh my gosh. That's a scary, ugly looking thing. My gosh. That rat beep. So we're gonna turn right on this street. This is called Park Avenue. Oh man, that's that's making my skin crawl seeing that rat. Ugh. And these rats up here, you guys, I don't know if they were part of Balco with like, you know, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, and all, all those other guys during the 90s home run fest. But these little guys are, are, are they're, they're on the juice for sure. They're using per, uh, performance enhancers. I, can, I guarantee you these little rats. So you're gonna stay on Park Avenue. Once again, we're running parallel to Big Bear Boulevard right now. We've already cut off so much of the boulevard. But we're gonna go as far as we can go until we have to get on the boulevard. So just stay on this and uh, uh, it's going to curve, curve around to the left on a street called Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. It's as far as this road goes. Then you'll take Knight to Big Bear Boulevard. To the right's a big, beautiful park. We just passed the baseball fields and basketball courts and big, beautiful park. And the lake is right here. Right there, it's righty. All right, Knight Avenue, folks. is not that far down that direction. Not that far at all. And here comes a fire truck. Back up a couple feet. I think we're kind of encroaching on the highway. But yeah. And again, 
stay in this left lane, but still be extra, extra cautious because the potholes are ridiculous. Thank you for cruising with me, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything, as always. Um, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am here for you. I love doing this for you guys. I'll never stop doing this, no matter no matter what's going on in my life, unless I'm not breathing anymore. This channel will continue to uh, continue to grow and continue to show you guys love. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Monday the 26th. Dad, even though I know you don't watch my channel, you're, you're 92 years old, happy birthday, man. I, I love you so much. I can't wait to fly out to Florida and see you in June or July. Until then, everybody, well, for him until then, but until tomorrow's aftermath video, which will be very, very weak, but it's what I do. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I'll see you on the live feeds. I have some live feeds going right now. Hop on the live feed and join the chat. A bunch of cool people on there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, sorry again for talking nonstop. I just honestly feel like you guys are right next to me as soon as I hit that record button. It's a pretty amazing feeling. Peace out, you guys. I love you guys with all my heart. And, uh, yeah. It's February 26, 2024. I love you guys. Bye.